Hi, this is a car lift. It's part two, the details. I'm Eugene Blanchard. Uh, I had problems with the audio, so I'm going to do a voiceover. So these are the parts or the terminology that I'm going to talk about. So this is the rail, uh, this large part here. It's a, and what we have is a short leg, and then we have uh, a long leg. A long leg has wheels on it. Uh, at the end, we have what I call the end block. And of course, there's an end block on both sides, and, and right in the middle, we have what we call a coupler block. And the coupler block couples the uh, two Acme threads together. There's a left hand and right hand Acme thread. Right about here is uh, the skate axle, right? So the skate axle has two skates on it, and the skates are just uh, wheels that roll up and down the uh, inside of the rail. Of course, we have our left and our right hand side Acme screws, uh, and what they're going to do is screw on the uh, skate rails, and they're going to slide in and open it up. So what I'll do is I'm going to flip it on its side here. Alright, so it's on its side and then we can see the uh, a better view of the uh, short leg and the long leg. And notice that the, each leg has a sort of an elbow on it or a little angle that lets it uh, lie down flush when it uh, uh, is lowered all the way down. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, flip it on its side. You can see both sides are symmetrical. Uh, we'll fl flip it on its back. Uh, you can see the uh, skate axle. That's a skate axle there and we've got two big Acme nuts on it. Uh, we've got little grooves in the uh, skate axle that stops the nuts from turning. Uh, so when the uh, um, Acme screw is turned, what it either pushes or pulls on those nuts and it moves the uh, uh, skate back and forth. Now inside uh, here, right in there, that's the uh, coupler block, and the coupler block, uh, what it does is it couples the two Acme threads together. This is the uh, wheel axle, this is the wheels that are on the ground, and this is upside down right now. Uh, so basically I use sintered bronze bushings in each wheel. To, uh, instead of bearings, the sintered bronze are uh, uh, easier to work with, a little bit better, and you don't have to oil them. Uh, we've got our spacer, uh, uh, very simple, we've got some washers and and a nine inch, three quarter inch, half inch bolt. Now we're looking at the uh, pivot point between the small or the short leg and the long leg. Uh, it's very simple. It's basically we got a bolt, uh, some washers, and a spacer in it. So here's a look at the bolt, washer, and spacers on it. Um, pretty straightforward. Now whenever I go through uh, the uh, rectangular tubing, I always put in uh, supports. So this is thick wall uh, tubing in there so I can uh, support it. Uh, this is the uh, the length of the uh, spacer. It's about three and a quarter inch. Uh, the bolts I use are, are grade five. You can see there's three dashes on it and this one's about nine inches long. Now we're going to take a look at the end block and how the uh, short leg mounts on it. I, I used uh, clevis pins. I was going to use clevis pins to put them in. Not a good idea. Very difficult to align up. Also, I was going to use a cotter pin to go through there and secure it. Doesn't work. Very difficult to do. Uh, take a look here. I've got centered bushings again wherever there's a pivot point that's going to have a um, weight put on it. And that. So these are the, the two. Uh, and then, then the end block was mounted with four... Um, button head hex screws on it. I use button heads because you don't need uh, lock washers. Basically it's concave. When you tighten it down it locks. Now we're going to take a look at how to remove the end block. So we'll give it a little pry. It's, it's, it's in there pretty tight fit so we'll just use the assembly. Uh, you'll see that there's a, a washer and the, it, it's used as a, a thrust uh, surface against the block. We also have a centered bronze bushing in the uh, um, end block also just to make sure it, it spins easily. Uh, we can see it better here. Here's the uh, centered bronze in the middle and then we have a, a thrust washer. Alright, to get the axle out what we're going to do is get the, the drill on it. Uh, we've got a, I think it's a 9 16 head on it and we'll just spin it. You can see the uh, skate axle is moving down. We're going to move it all the way over uh, try to get it into position where the, the slot is that allows it to come out and uh, we're going to hold it there and what we'll find out, uh, we'll see here that it's, it won't come out because basically the Acme screw is still in there. So I'm going to just flip it over and then I'm going to take the uh, drill and then I'm just going to uh, keep drilling the um, uh, Acme shaft out. The Acme shaft is out now. It comes out and then we have our uh, uh, nuts, the Acme nuts and that. 
And now what we do is we just uh, slide the assembly forward and that way we can get the skate axle out of the little slot that's been uh, machined into the uh, rail. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, end of the Acme thread, uh, Acme rod. So at the end of the Acme rod what I put is a, I grooved, a, I machined a little groove in and I put a C-clip in. So that way the, uh, the thrust pressure isn't on the threads of the Acme screw, it's basically on the C-clip. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, skate axle. Those, that's the skate, the skate wheels and the axle, and we'll take that apart. Uh, the skates are held on by uh, C-clips, so I'll remove the C-clip. There's a C-clip, a washer, then the skate axle. On the skate axle is also a centered uh, bronze bushing. Uh, the same as on the, uh, this would be the long legs, right? So on the long legs they have uh, centered bushing on the uh, little angled part there, the elbow. and that. Uh, these ones I made out of aluminum uh, just because it was a prototype. Uh, they should really be out of, out of steel. The aluminum was getting beat up quite a bit just from uh, going back and forth and testing and stuff like that. So I'll take off the uh, other uh, C-clip on, on this side and then I'll lay out all the pieces together. Uh, at the end of the video what I'll do is I'll show you, uh, I, ha I have all my drawings and 3D drawings uh, available on, on my Google Drive. I'll share that and we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So here we go. We have our our C-clip, then we have a, a washer, then we have our um, skate wheel with a centered bushing on it, then we have our skate axle and uh, same ditto on the other side. This is how you uh, uh, remove the uh, coupling block. You slide it down and then you pop it out this little slot here. And that uh, I had to put a little uh, groove on the coupling block basically because uh, when they made the uh, rail they, it had a weld in it so there's a, a little uh, weld groove there so that way it would slide easily on that. Um, this is what the coupling block looks like together. We have our two Acme screws, we've got a centered bronze bushing and inside the bushing we have a little cu a hex coupler. right? So uh, I didn't make this hex coupler. I, I bought it. I'll, I'll see if I have the information. I'll put it uh, um, in the description where the source was I, for this side here. And then I machined the hex on the... Now we're going to take a look at the uh, rail, the bottom side of the rail. I got slots for the short legs to go into and then I got a slot so I can put in the skate axle. I got some empty spaces so the uh, big leg can slide up and down and in the middle goes the coupler. And the other side is uh, identical, sy symmetrical. On my Google Drive, I made available the 2D and 3D drawings that I used to, to make this prototype. It's a prototype, so there are going to be errors in it. Uh, you'll have to check the drawings quite careful. If you want to use them as a basis, uh, I don't know if they're complete or not. Um, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a mechanical engineer. I'm just a hacker, so use that at your own risk. Uh, this information is provided as is without any guarantee or warranty. I'm not a mechanical engineer. This is something I hacked together. Uh, if you want to take this information and do something with it, that's totally your responsibility. It's not mine. I don't say that this is going to work. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's things that aren't going to fit according to the drawings. It's, it was all done in 2014, a long time ago. I just kind of dropped the project, got it to that stage and that. So use at your own risk and uh, take into consideration that I could be an idiot and this could not work at all.